came back to use my already developed uh, layer native project so trying to use it again i can't even use it because the metro bundler does not start anymore it just flashes just like a light and it closes all of a sudden so after some googling and after some time i figure out a perfect uh, answer for that and perfect solution for that so this is what we are going to basically talk about in this video first of all i have to open my commander i'm using commander actually here so i'm going to initialize a new reality project so i'm doing this with uh, real native 0.6.5 so I'm just going to hit enter so let's just give this a couple of seconds then we can continue that is done so let me switch to the uh, test project folder in the test project folder we have to just do exactly what they said we should do over here uh, let's type down the command react native run android and just notice what's going to happen now the metro bundle is going to flash and all of a sudden it closes so this is one of the problems that many developers especially in the, the beginners are uh, being frustrated with and even if you already have an existing project this thing is still going to happen all of a sudden i don't know why it's happening like this or maybe it's because of the way uh, React Native is being upgraded. So the way we can solve that is very, very simple. I'm going to allow this to finish. Then I'm going to uh, open my Visual Studio Code on, on this current project folder so that it doesn't affect us. So it's done. So I'm just going to type down code. So my Visual Studio Code is open. So how to fix this is very, very simple. I pretty uh, kept some steps that we are going to use without much delay. So I'm going to open my notepad plus These are the steps. The first one says create a directly called asset in the Android uh, XLC main folder So over right here Main I'm going to create a folder called asset Then I'm going to close it back. The second one said I should go to um, Node modules metro config Folder. So in my metro config folder, I'm going to go to default, then the blacklist.js, I'm going to open the file. So as you can see over here, we have this to be this. This file, this uh, code over here is exactly this code. So we have to replace it with this. Format that back, then I'll save. Then lastly, I have to run the uh, the bundle command. So it's just going to create a bundle file for us in the asset folder. So I'm just going to open my commander and paste that down, then hit enter. So once this is done, then we can uh, run our reality app and we are we will not see any problem anymore. But before we do that. Why this is running, I have to make some edits so that you understand also that this is same file, nothing changed. So I think I have to clear this. Uh, it's kind of a long I use React Native, so I don't really remember most things. Over here, I'm going to use a view. Then in the view, which is a text, welcome to new project. So this is done copying and the bundle file has been created. So how we can check it out is to head over to the Android app, the SLC main asset folder. Then we can see there's an Android, Android bundle file with a lot of junks inside it. So let me close that and play that. Then I can run this anymore. Sorry, again, not anymore. Uh, I want to type that down. React native run. Android So let's kind of observe what will happen now So as you can see the metro bundler is loaded and there's no more uh, flashes back And over here is now compiling and installing the app While our metro bundler is waiting Then as you can see everything is live and active Then the metro bundler starts its own uh, graph 
loading. So let's kind of wait. So as you can see, I type down welcome to new project over here and you can see exactly that over there. So that's how you can fix the uh, Metro bundler not working uh, recently. That's how you can fix all those things. We never can tell what future bug will be, but I think uh, React Native have to put this into consideration because they're one of the people that uh, have a good uh, way of building Android app, but a lot of bugs. So I think they should kind of uh, fix this once and for all so that we can have a, a good and stable version. Even if it's going to take two years, three years, then anyone that can do the updates can manually do the updates. So thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and make sure you also hit my like button. Uh, never forget, uh, this is a happy new year. Make some new resolution and uh, focus on your dreams and make sure you achieve your goals. Don't stop. Keep pushing hard. Put God beside you and I promise you he's not going to disappoint you. Thank you once more. Make sure you hit the like button and share also to some other programmers willing to start real native apps and also willing to face the metro bundle problem. So thank you for watching.